Mr. Gilliam. I'm here with the Stadium Games along with uh, Press Games and we're here to do board games at Sony 60 and we got to double just now to play. So I'm going to play I'm, uh, I'm Chris from Games Quest. Uh, we supply the board games here as well uh, and we're going to have to try a couple So with double you've got eight features on every card and on any two cards there's always one that's the same. So in this it's the gingerbread. There's different ways to play it, all based on trying to find it the fastest. So, one way to play it is that we both have a card. We have a pile in the middle. We're going to try to get as many of these cards as possible by naming the pictures on the card. Okay, so you ready? Go. Ride there, you can get that on your phone yeah. or your iPad. 
so the, the crossover between the video game market and the board game market is thinning every way. Every it's, it's becoming more of a continuous line. The line is blurring because everyone is coming through and everyone is trying to get used to the line. Um, There's even board games now that actually include an app to be part of the board game itself. So, yeah, there's a big crossover. The crossover between gamers is big enough. And then when you, when you think about it, at the end of the day, everyone, to some extent or another, is a bit of a geek. And therefore, it's just bringing everything across, bringing it all together, because this way we can all be friends. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely agree with that sentiment. Thanks for showing this double, and uh, thanks for chatting to us today. And uh, yeah, be sure to keep, keep an eye out for more coverage from Insomnia at the 16th. Thank you very much.